Hello, in this session we will look at an example of how we can make use of data from import command to manage the resources that are not created by Terraform. So uh, we know that we can make use of this Terraform import command to manage the resources that were not created by Terraform or to basically manage the existing infrastructure resources. Now the Terraform import command can only import one resource at a time. So let's say you have multiple resources like an EC2 instance, a database, a S3 bucket, IAM roles, you have different, different resources. Now we cannot use the Terraform import command to import all the resources at once. You'll have to do one resource at a time. So uh, I'll show an example for this. So it cannot simultaneously import an entire collection of resources like an AWS VPC. So when we talk about your VPC, your VPC has different different resources like the subnets, the gateways, the security groups, uh, your NACL. So you have different different resources. Now we won't be able to import the entire collection of those resources. Uh, you will have to do only one resource at a time. So to import a resource first, we will have to write a resource block for it in the configuration establishing the name by which it will be known to Terraform. So before we run this Terraform import command, we will have to write the respective uh, resource block for the resources that we want to import. So here is an example uh, resource block. So you can uh, give, uh, you can define the resource block, the in resource type that you want to import and you can give a local name to that resource and then for now you can uh, just give a dummy instance configuration but once you're done importing it you'll have to fill in the configuration details so the name example over here that's the local name you have given to this resource uh, block uh, or to the resource that we want to uh, import now this uh, is distinct from the, any id issued by the remote system which may change over time while the resource name remains constant so this is local name this has nothing to do with the resource id that we want to import and if desired we can leave the body of the resource block blank for now so you can just uh, write this resource block without any body content um, and later on you can fill this so return to fill it once the resource is imported now uh, terraform import can be run to attach an existing instance to this instance configuration so here for example i can run this terraform import your resource type dot the local name and the resource id that you want to import so this command locates the aws ec2 instance with the respective id and what this will do is it will attach the existing instance of this instance as described by the ec2 api to the same resource block within your uh, uh, configuration files. Now in this example, the module path implies that the root module is used. Uh, finally, the mapping is saved to the Terraform state. So all the details about this resource will be saved in your state file and Terraform will start managing those resources as well. So it is also possible to import resources in child modules using their paths and to single resources or single instances of a resource with count and for each set. Now, as a result of the command, the resources is recorded in the state file. Uh, we can now run the Terraform plan to see how the configuration compares to the imported resource and make any adjustments to the configuration to align with the current or desired state of the imported object. So let's see an example for this. Now here, if you see, if you look at my console, I already have two EC2 instances. Now for the sake of understanding, I'm calling them as manual instance, meaning I have manually launched these EC2 instances. Terraform has not launched these EC2 instances. Now let's go back to the server. Now here I have the configuration files and uh, this configuration file, we are making use of your modules. So we are using the module that we have in the S3 bucket and uh, this module will create four resources for us so let's go, go ahead and uh, apply this so let's quickly initialize this which will download the module for us so my code is initialized let's generate a plan and uh, you will see that this will show four resources that is two ec2 instances one s3 bucket and one uh, a security group so for to add 
and let's apply this. So this will start creating the resources for us. So now, as of now, this is going to manage four resources, uh, which will be available within the state file. However, the new instances that I have, the instances that I have launched manually, Terraform will not be able to manage those resources. So now, what if I want Terraform to start managing those resources as well, meaning these two instances as well. So now if I refresh this, uh, you should be able to see so here you can see module example server module example server so this is coming from my uh, terraform all right so here if you look at the tags you will see that uh, these tags uh, i have added from terraform however these two instances uh, were manually launched now i want these two instances also to be managed by my terraform so this is where we can make use of your import command now before we run the import command we will have to update the resource block so we'll have to define the respective resource blocks for the resources that you want to import now in my case i have two resources that i want to import so i'll be defining two resource blocks for this so let's quickly define this so resource so my resource type would be aws instance and let's say we will call this as manual instance one so just the local name so it's user defined so you can give whatever you want so this becomes my local name and for now i'll just give uh, so this is where the instance configurations will be defined for now i'm not defining anything over here and then we will define one more resource block for the second instance and let's give the new local name so i have two resource block for two instances now what i can do is i can use the terraform import command so here i'll say terraform import uh let me quickly read this all right so i'll say terraform import and we'll have to give the resource information so i want to use this resource type for the local name the resource id so basically i'm telling that i want to map this resource with this particular resource block so now here we'll take the uh, instance id so let me copy this and i'll put it over here now what this will do is this will use the ec2 api and it will gather all the information about this resource and it will store it in my state file so you can see here instance importing instance id import prepared and uh, refreshing state and now if you look at the state file you will see that I should be able to see a new EC2 instance. So let me go to the top and sure, you will see manual instance one. And here is the instance ID ending with FE17. That's FE17, right? And likewise, I want to manage the second instance. So again, the same thing, only difference you will see is a change in the uh, instance type sorry the instance id so let me rerun this command and let me change this so this will be the second resource block and this is done so now if you look at this state file it should be it should show us the two ec2 instances in addition to the resources that terraform is already managing it will show me two more instances one is your manual instance one all right and then we will have your manual instance two so this means now terraform is uh, going to manage these manual instances as well now let's run this terraform plan and you will get an error all right because the resource blocks are empty all right the two new resource blocks that we have to find it is empty so you can see we don't have the minimal um, arguments so we will have to once you're done importing the resources we will have to fill in the configuration details all right so let me uh, remove this and uh, let me pass so my instance type would be so let me make use of the variable so we already have the variable so we're just going to call those uh, variables 
and then AMI would be this one and the same applies to the other instance as well so let me copy that and uh, let me define that here as well we'll save this and now if you run the terraform plan command let's see what this will show us so you see here to to add to to destroy now let's see what this is changing why this is destroying it so this is because of the ami all right so the ami is changing that's why it is destroying it but however you can see this is uh, if you look at the tag let me see if i can see the tag over here okay see here manual instance and uh, here is the other instance with the same tag manual instance so now the instances that uh, were existing or the resources that were not managed by terraform now terraform is able to manage that by importing so importing those resources so this is where we can make use of your terraform import command uh, to import the resources so that terraform can start managing those resources for us now let's say if i want to destroy the resources all right so here uh, i have these instances that were launched manually right now terraform is managing these resources as well so let's say i want to destroy this so let's run this terraform destroy command and you will see that this time it will show six resources that terraform is going to destroy for us so in total four ec2 instances one um, s3 bucket and one security group so you can see here six to destroy so i have the module module instance uh, so that's the security group that's the s3 bucket and i should have four ec2 instances so this is one this is two this is the manual instance that we had launched all right so now terraform is managing the new resources as well all right and now if i approve this terraform will go ahead and destroy the resources for us and done so my resources are destroyed and here also you will see the manual instance that i had launched e1 those are destroyed by terraform so that's basically a terraform import command that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video